Thank you, Tanya. We are live under the big top, an affair that we look forward to every year. It's the Tarzan Zerbini Family Circus. We find ourselves right now at 1899 South Madison in Webb City. And it doesn't matter whether you call it Madison Street if you're coming from Webb. Doesn't matter if you call it Range Line if you're coming from Joplin. I tell you what, you cannot miss the big top. It's going to be right alongside of the road right when you get into Webb City. It's, it's one of those things that we do every single year because we're fortunate enough to have wonderful performers and the ringmaster, one Joseph Bauer, who joins us. Joseph, thank you. So it's great to see you, my great man. You. Thank you so much. Hey, I want to start first and foremost because everybody's been looking forward to the Tarzan Zerbini Family Circus. And it, this is really unique because it's not only this weekend, mm -hmm. but next week next as well. Next weekend as well. And, and, but here's the thing. And yes, you blame the weather guy for this. <laughs> I brought in some snow today. Travel conditions, folks, we're urging you to stay at home today, even if you have tickets for the circus. And Joseph is going to tell you why you're not going to miss out. So, Joseph, I have a ticket for the circus tonight. Uh, unfortunately, I should not be out on the roads. Absolutely. We want safety. Always safety is first. Right. So we think for our patrons and for everyone in the community and along with our animals and artists, tonight would not be a good night. So we're going to honor those tickets for any performance of the Tarzan. Any. Wait. So any performance that is left through next week, you can just take your ticket over there, turn it around and use it for another show. OK. So, and so once again, for people, please don't blame the ringmaster. He does. His, he does a marvelous job. Blame your weather guy. As far as uh, us not being able to host the circus tonight, but remember, like Joseph said, those tickets are going to be good for any other performance, whether it be this weekend or in the next week. Joseph, I want because of your expertise in the circus, how do you take care of the animals? What is the best thing to do when it gets this cold? Well, we have them at the winter quarter, of course, and they're in over at the building there in a heated facility. You know, we bring them over for the show. If the weather is not right, we bring them right back. So it's all about like taking care of our kids. If they shouldn't be out when it's too cold, so that's why we're doing this tonight. And, and like you said, it's not only it's not only for the patrons that come to the circus, but also for the safety Absolutely. of the animals. Joseph, you and I last year we were talking about some of uh, the pandemic time mm -hmm. and and the fact that you've been able to put together new stunts, tricks. Uh, and, and great thing because you're a performer is what folks if you don't know he's not only the ringmaster he's also a marvelous performer yes, particularly eighth, eighth generation in my family eighth generation what have you been working on I've been working you know the pandemic did hit everybody entertainment in a whole and uh, but we're fighting back and people are coming back to the show so we've been working on some new acts for this year we've got a fantastic show with an international group of circus stars and we're closing the show with that giant globe of death Wait, you're still doing the globe? Oh, yes, we're doing the globe of death. We have the number one flying trapeze act in the United States, for sure, if not maybe all over the world. The flying Cortez are here. There's seven people that are going to be flying through the air. Uh, it's great. We have all the great stuff. And you're going to be seeing T.J. Howell, a little more of him. He has a lot of tricks. And as Joseph said, that's T.J. right there in the background who's performing his tricks. Hey, what is it? You're coming out of Florida, mm -hmm. coming back to the four states where the Tarzan Zerbini Circus right. is based and whatnot. How has turnout been post-pandemic? What are you witnessing as far as where we were one year or two years ago? Well, we're witnessing good houses because people are wanting to get back out and try and put this behind us and enjoy again the live entertainment you know and so it's been great so far you know thank god people are coming back and we're being able to show the circus and once again if you have tickets for tonight remember like joseph said those are going to be honored for yeah each any performance, e any performance whether it be tonight and tomorrow we're doing noon four well four and seven thirty saturday and on sunday one and five o'clock then we're on again next week thursday friday saturday sunday Come out and redeem those tickets, folks, and we'll be back. We're going to talk to TJ here coming up just a little bit. Joseph, thank you very much. Tanya, back to you.